What's good, my bearded fellas? This is West Texas Brew Crew. My name is Jeremy. My name is Matt. And we are going over Detroit Grooming. So, as he said, we're going over Detroit Grooming. Heck, yeah. So, we are the good old Texas Brothers out of the Permian Basin. Uh, let's see. You already know where, well, you already know where we're from. We're from Odessa. Go Mojo. Woo. Um, our channel is all about beard reviews, beard products, etc. Uh, we give our review, our honest opinion. So, uh, live unboxings over on our Instagram. Uh, question of the day. Uh, how do you wear your hats? And do you even wear hats? No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Answering the question of the day, I like to wear mine sometimes backwards if it's a uh, flat bill. You also like to wear snapbacks, right? Oh, snapbacks for sure. I don't like fitted hats, so snapbacks is the key. I sometimes wear it up front, but it depends on the day and how I feel. Yeah, and I usually like to wear regular like uh, fitted hats, but for some reason I've been buying a lot of these snapbacks and the flat bills and i've been doing this thing where you curve the brim if you can't tell it's kind of curved and usually i like to wear them either backwards which it looks good sometimes it likes to pinch the hell out of my head and then a lot of times i just wear forward so it keeps it looking nice i look good comment down below so if this is your first time over on our channel we'd like to welcome you uh, we appreciate we appreciate you stopping by and checking out our videos. Please feel free to let us know how we did down in the old comment section below. And always please subscribe and like your like our content we put up. Also, if you've been by our side since the beginning, we thank you for sticking by our side. We appreciate the love and support for always liking, commenting, and also stay, stay bearded. bearded. So. Uh, we're going over Detroit Grooming. Uh, the founder slash owner, his name is Mike. He has an incredible story on how his beard journey is and how his com company came about. So we won't go over the story because the story is absolutely outrageously long. But if you want to go check it out, it's on his website. So we're just going to go over some key points and be there established in 2014. They are also out of Ferndale, Michigan. He is the first company to ever make beard butter. Um, he has done a fair, uh, fair amount of research on his beard products. Also, for anybody that has their own, like, company or business, they want to start doing like men's grooming. They do have an awesome wholesaling. They do. Fact. So what do they sell? Well, what do they sell, Matt? Well, beard care, which are oil, butter, mustache wax, wash, and conditioner. Yeah. Uh, they also got shaving essentials like safety razors, razor blades, shaving creams and gels, shaving brushes, mugs, and shaving stamps. Hair and body. So they have waxes, pomades, shampoos, body washes, Colognes, bar soap, and hand soap. Heck yeah. Also, you gotta get their merch, their hats, their shirts, their face masks, and they even have beard face masks. They are awesome. So, since the holidays are rolling around, you better go snag y'all some for y'all's relatives. They also offer holiday gift sets with some complete shaving systems, beard boost packs, Beard butter samples, beard oil samples, kits of five ounces, 5.5 5 ounces, sorry, and so much more, son. Cool. 
Go check them out over on their website and their Instagram. Just catch more details and uh, discounts. So pricing of their products. So they got oil one ounce for twenty three dollars. Uh, oils of zero point five ounces for fourteen dollars. If you can catch that one, I was talking a little fast. Butters. They got a two ounce for sixteen dollars. Four ounce butter is twenty five dollars. They also got. Uh, beard wax, uh, two ounce is twenty dollars, and beard, well, beard and mustache wax, uh, point fifteen ounce is twelve dollars. Beard wash conditioners for four ounce is thirteen dollars. Beard wash conditioners for eight ounce is twenty five dollars. It's not bad. Uh, complete shaving system, which consists of a bowl, a razor. Which is the razor, the the holder, the razor blade, uh, a brush, shaving soap for a hundred and ten. Pomades for a three point four ounce is for twenty two dollars. Yeah, I don't got no hair, so I don't need it. And of course, their hats are twenty or thirty three dollars. Their shirts are twenty five dollars. Face regular face masks are twelve dollars, and their beard face masks are fifteen dollars. Presentation. So, their oils. Get a little closer. Cork tab. Look how snazzy that labeling is. Detroit Grooming, Cork Town, all their ingredients. What I like about Detroit is they have their scent already on the bottle to any products. So, if you can see, it is going to be their tub. Tobacco Vanilla Cedar is a quartz town. So I just wanted to show you the labels. Yeah. Talk about the containers. Um, they are glass, by the way. Yeah. The, every, just the bottles. Um, yeah, the, the butters are plastic, right? Yeah, they're plastic tubs with a metal top, I believe. Yeah. ASMR. <laughs> but anyways, um... What I like about the containers, what I dislike about the containers, um, like is overall, it's snazzy, it looks cool. Um, it shows the scents, like I said, ingredients is, you can see it, you can read it. Um, my dislikes is there's no drop for top to it. You have to buy it separately. But he does have a video on his YouTube channel, I believe, of how to pour it. Really? Without over pouring, yeah, I know that for sure. How would you want to do that? Or so, how would you do that? So, if you ever want to, let me let me explain. So, since I don't have nothing in beard right now, so you want to put your finger on top, barely open it like that. Really? Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, you got it on the table. So that's going to be what I dislike and what I like about the containers. So also while he's doing that, I'm going to go over the scent profiles. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Ooh, excuse me. So they got Corktown. They got Orchard Lake. They got Traverse City. They got Black. They got Belle Isle. 313. Leland, Woodward, downtown, and then they got their holiday scent, the Christmas. So, ingredients and smell. As I'm talking about the ingredients, I want you to smell and see if what you get out of it on anything. So, their oils, or we'll talk about their butter. Mm -hmm. So, the butter is going to be sweet almond, cocoa, nut, uh, beeswax, unrefined shea butter, Sunflower seed, saffron, mm. safflower seed, rice bran, apricot kernel, avocado, wheat germ, vitamin E, and fragrance and essential oils. That's going to be on their butter. Yeah. And then their so, oil. Let's just, just hop into the oil real quick. So they got uh, sweet almond, 
They got vitamin E. They got sunflower seed. Safflower seed. Rice bran. Apricot kernel. Avocado. Wheat germ. And you gotta get the fragrance and the essential oils. That makes it all nice. Smelling good. So, we're going to talk about getting some of these products that we have here. And, sorry, I got a lot. I put a lot in, and I'm trying to rub it all in. He's like a crackhead now. You know, got to have that fix for the beard stuff. <laughs> right. Just sitting there just rubbing himself. So, we're going to go over their oils and butters today. That's all we have. We don't have their hair products or shaving products because we don't shave. And I really don't fix my hair because I throw in a, a little hat on top. So we got there, of course, I showed you their cork town. This is going to be their tobacco vanilla cedar wood. Oh, I'm, oh, I thought one we and were, one. Oh, one and one. Okay, well, that's fine. They got Traverse City. And that is what? Uh, cherry and tobacco, which smells awesome, by the way. So black is going to be their cologne scent. And it don't say what the scent is. It's just mm -hmm. called black. Oh, you gotta be like that now without no scent profile. <laughs> All right, so the next one I got is Orchard Lake. And this one has the orange and vanilla scent, which, let me just take a little whiff of that. Oh yeah, smell that orange in there, man. It's, it's, like, it's just like a dreamsicle. So next we got their Belle Isle, and this one's going to be lavender and orange. This is a fantastic bedtime scent. Oh, fantastic. Got to wear it for bedtime. This is my bedtime scent. As soon as you open it, you can smell that cherry tobacco. Like you just open a very a fresh bag of uh, fresh cut cherry tobacco, like a pipe tobacco. It is the best. So, I want to go over a little bit about how he designed to come up with these names. So, Traverse City is actually a city in, I want to say, Michigan. Don't quote me on that. If I miss it, I'll put it in the, our video. Description. Description, whatever you want to say. But, Belle Isle is also another town around uh, Michigan. And this is their... Vanilla, not vanilla, sorry. Orange and lavender scent. This is probably one of my favorites. I took a grand chunk out of that. Mm, that smells good. I'm all way over here and I can smell it. It smells pretty good. Yeah, this is my bedtime scent. I love that one. Okay, go to bed, bed, bed. Wait, wait, just, you know, dream of dream of all things bearded dreams. So, all things bearded dreams, that's what we think about, other than that. 313 is going to be their airy code. Never this tried that one, but I hear it's very good. This is going to be their toasted vanilla, mm. amber. So, toasted vanilla and amber. It does not smell like Corktown. I, whenever I first had it, I smelled nothing but the vanilla. And I'm like, why do I get two butters the same? No yes! Smells good. Oh my so, ears ringing. They're black. Like I said, he don't have a scent profile on this, but I get a musk cologne. Ooh. And I have used this. My dad has stolen it from me and started using it. Smell that one. How come he gave it back? He Ooh. liked it more of Ooh. the styling. And beard, since he does have gray hair, he said it wasn't for him, especially. So I don't know. That's mm. his opinion. Don't quote me on that. That smells good. I like musky smells. I guess because I'm getting old and I like all old timey smells. Oh, wait, now, so. I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting one product Leland. Mm. Yeah. Leland is going to be your mango and lime. This is my second favorite. I haven't used this, but I can smell it all the time, and I don't know why I haven't been using it. I guess you, you're going trying from 
Bell Isle to the Black. And I've gotten told mix Bell Isle and Leland together Ooh. and see how that is. I've tried that. Not yet, but I will. What's up? We're back. We're back. I had to take a little break because I was getting too excited. Yeah. So, I'm going to go over how long their scent duration lasts. And I get six to eight hours out of this product. Mm, you? That's not bad. Um, so, so far the ones I've tried is the Christmas. And that scent profile lasted me 12 hours. I worked a 12 hour shift. When you've been sniffing too much beard products and you end up like this. Hey! And came home at nine, nine to 10. So what is that? How long is that? Six to six is 12. No, six to six with a lunch of an hour is 11. They don't pay you for an hour lunch. Oh, well, I get free paid for yeah. lunch. Anyway, so, so overall, it, 12 to 12 to 14 hours, that scent, because it's the leather and, what did I say, pine needle. Them two, them two fragrances alone will last you 12 to 14 times. So, does it leave it greasy or dry? Ooh. Um, the oil leaves it perfect for some reason. Even when I get out of the shower, it doesn't leave a very greasy. Um, I do kind of have to stroke it just enough to get it kind of smoothed in. Um, their butter, on the other hand, is a very, very greasy. Let me just go ahead and take some out. I'm gonna take that much out. Well, actually, hold on. That's a lot. That's a lot. So that's how much I'm gonna take out. And I'm gonna break it in my hand. And you know, that's just a small amount. And you can kind of see it's a little, little bit of grease, not too much. But then again, I put a little way too much just because I like it. So I'm gonna put it in my sip. Smells like Christmas. Okay, conclusion time, son. So let's just uh, rate this product from one to ten. Ten's gonna be the top, and the one's gonna be the lowest. What do you give them? Dang, why you gotta take me first? So since I've been using them longest, and the, this is actually my first product I ever picked up when I was getting back into the beard game. Yeah. So I would give them a high rating of eight. Ooh, okay. Because how long their scents last in beard, how they feel in beard, I'm gonna give them an eight. Okay. So since I've only tried two of their products, I'm going to rate them individually just because I can. I'm going to rate this Christmas scent with their oil and butter a top 10 just because I love it. And then their Triverse City, the cherry and tobacco, I'm going to give them an 8.5. Just because I like the tobacco and the cherry mix, it's just a very fresh smell to me. Um, but overall, I'm going to give them a high 10 and an 8.5. So likes and dislikes, what I like about the product. Overall, it's good. I don't like, I don't have a dislike at all. No. So, um, I mean, of course, their labeling's kind of small. I can't really read some of the stuff in the back, but that, that's okay. I mean, we're not really going to be like, you know, looking right at it. I mean, we're going to be like looking at the front and looking at what, what the front says. And what I really like, and a lot of people are starting to uh, put their scent durations, or not scent durations, their scent labeling on their bottle so if you can see it says pine leather and cedar cedar sorry i couldn't even find it but anyways that's what i like about their bottles and labeling uh i do think they're labeling on the back for their ingredients if it'll pick up it's not going to pick up but anyways it's very tiny that's why <laughs> very tiny um, feedback from us to Mike um, keep on rocking out new products but I love it love your new scents you came out with like Christmas scent yeah that Christmas scent's bomb dude and if you can get oil in Leland which he said that it's hard to make and he might bring it back and or 
establish it in oil. Nice. You gotta get their merch. I'm gonna get their merch next time I their go on. Their merch is. I got sick. one specific thing I want from their merch, and it's the uh, the camo. camo snapback. That looks awesome. I want it so bad. I like your black cap with white lettering camo or snapback. Ooh. The, or the one with the, the black with the white labeling and the black. That's awesome. Those three, let alone, are awesome. Yeah. So, and you need to get in your shirt, t shirts, fives. All the way up to 5X. You need to get the big, big fluffy guys. You know, we're fluffy. I'm not saying I'm a 5X, but I, I rock a three. I do too. So, and all you have is a 2X. So, I guess that's one thing I kind of. Dislike. I want to get merch in my size, and I can't. So yeah, but that's always gonna always lose weight. That's why we went to fat camp last time. <laughs> you can make crap. <laughs> so go we'll check them out on their website and Instagram. Uh, like this video. Comment. Subscribe if you never have. Hit that bell button, whatever, so you can get notifications and all that fun stuff. Whenever we put out new content. Yeah. Go check us out on Instagram. Um, and our uh, YouTube channel. At West Texas Beard Crew. Oh, yeah, that one. I forgot. <laughs> I'm not wearing my hat today. So, we love you. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for stopping by. And always, keep on rocking. Hey. Are you listening? Damn. Yeah.